So we have the Ten of Swords. So something has ended. We have the devil. So this could be a cycle that has ended out. Like something is finished. Something is over. Um, this could have been someone that was operating in a very low vibrational energy that you could have been attached to. And they wanted to keep you stuck to them or bind it to them. And this was to only keep you limited. You know, keep you restricted from something. This was to keep you restricted from believing in yourself. Um, things that are possible for you. It's like being attached to whoever this person is that you've ended something out with. Um, you could have felt powerless or they wanted you to feel like you did not have any control. And this could be someone who does not have control over their self. Like they lack self-control. We have the Six of Swords popping out in the reverse. This is definitely someone who um, did not want something to change. And it's like, this is a careless type of person. They're comfortable with staying like in a certain energy or um, a certain setting. Um, this could just be them being comfortable, just staying stuck. You know, doing the same things over and over again. Repeating cycles over and over again. You have the Five of Cups. Yeah, it's like they're grieving. They're disappointed. This person is in regret. Because something is finished. It's like it's over. They feel lost. And we have the high priestess. This person feels lost because of the changes that you have made. You being aware, you using your intuition. We have the page of wands popping out in the reverse. And then the sun. Yeah, you realize this person was definitely someone that was a distraction. You didn't have any motivation around this person. You weren't realizing your true potential while being attached to this person. This could be someone that's very depressed. Um, they could get agitated a lot. They're always um, bringing in some type of bad news or something like that. This is someone that could have just been in a negative, low vibrational energy. And you used your intuition and um, decided to make a change for you. Especially if you cannot change other people. So you could have came to the realization, even if you were trying to help this person, you can't change people that don't want to be helped. Um, you cannot change people that does not want to better their self. You have to remain positive. You have the Eight of Swords. And for a long time, you could have felt as if you were blocked off and you were um, restricted. But right when you made that change, it left that person in that energy. And you're in this, this strong energy. This radiant energy, positive energy. We have the King of Cups. And then you have the Eight of Wands. And we have the King of Pentacles. And then the Star. So whoever this, you have the King of Cups and you have the King of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, um, it's like somebody is getting ready to like make some type of change or do something quick. Or they've made a quick decision to do something. Somebody is being bold. They're taking action towards something, whoever this King of Cups is. Um, this could have been them 
being bold enough to look at different things that they need to change. And they started healing, you know, having faith, um, having a lot of hope for their self. This is someone that is um, continuing to do something in a positive way. So maybe that person was someone that acted off of their emotions and it wasn't positive in the past. It kept them in the energy of just feeling stuck or restricted. But now that person is um, doing something realistic, like different. This could be someone that is also using their intuition. Like they've made some type of change. This person have rejuvenated their self. This could be someone that wants to reach out to you and say something to you. We have the three of pentacles. So this could be someone that wants to collaborate with you. They want to team up with you and do something. You and this person could share the same goals. Or the same type of goals. You have the seven of swords. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So this person found out the truth about some type of um, betrayal. This could have been somebody that caused some type of trickery or somebody could have intentionally like just lied. Um, this could be someone who lied to that person about you. But if this is someone who has sat back and watched you after being lied to, um, cause they wanted this person to be afraid of you. Maybe this is someone who wanted to communicate with you, come toward you to, um, collaborate with you, but they wanted them to be trapped in fear. So whatever lie they told to that person, it was to keep that person like feeling restricted, overthinking something stuck in their head, but they found out the truth about some type of deception, some type of lie. You have the five of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this was like a rival. This person is someone that um, was definitely an enemy to this person. So they could have educated an enemy and they didn't know this person was like trying to sabotage whatever they were trying to do. Out of envy, out of jealousy. Yeah, but something is being balanced out because they found out the truth. You have the Six of Pentacles. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so something got balanced out a while ago. Um, and whoever the person is that caused some type of deception, they feel defeated. Because they've sat back and watched a lot of progress. Not only with whatever you have done to complete a cycle um, or distance yourself from someone that just was not good for you, but they've watched this other person that wants to collaborate with you make some type of change that they didn't expect that person to make. And it happened quick. two of pentacles coming i didn't even know this was in this deck but yeah it's like they were investing in this for a long time and now they're trying to oh wow <laughs> you have the nine of wands as well this could be someone that's very it's like they're nervous now and they don't know what to do because something came back or something like not only did they get caught up But it's like something came back or maybe that person is nervous of some type of karma coming back towards them. Because whatever you do, it comes back on you tenfold. So you have to be mindful of what you try to do to people in a negative way. Yeah, this person knows that something is going to come back and they're in fear of it.
So we have date. So there's getting ready to be a meetup between you and whoever this person is that wants to collaborate with you. You have mystery. And then you have fear. Now, this could have also been someone that either you dated or whoever this person is that wants to collaborate with you. This could be somebody that they dated. That person is afraid. They're scared. Um, they thought that they were going to be able to stay hidden, stay unknown, um, confuse that person, create an illusion around you. This didn't work. And now they're in fear of that person coming towards you um, for a date. Not only a meetup, but start dating that person. This could be someone that is attracted to you. And then you have regret. Yeah, this person is stuck in guilt. They didn't know they would get caught up for this lie. Or whatever this trickery is that they try to cause. You have soulmate and divine timing. It's like they knew something was supposed to happen at a certain time, but they didn't know when. So they felt like they would be able to um, sabotage it before it took place. Now, this could be your soulmate or your twin flame, but there's definitely a soul contract, a soul connection between you and this person. And they were trying to keep that person at a stalemate, like feeling restricted, feeling like they could not control their self, control their thoughts. You have reconciliation. So there's a reunion that's getting ready to happen between you and this person. You have divine intervention. And then you have surrender. Okay, so you could have... Um, if this is someone that you have this soul connection with, you know, there's past lives that you and this person have shared together. When you met up with that person, this could have been something that they didn't know, you didn't know. And um, when the reconciliation happened, it wasn't the right time. So, or, or when the reunion happened, it just wasn't the right time. The timing was off. And a lot of unexpected things could have started taking place in your life. But you still were able to change and um, keep moving forward and remain positive. Whoever the person is that wants to collaborate with you, they had to do the same. It's like they had to release different things, surrender to something. In order for this union to take place the way it's supposed to. You have romantic feelings. This is someone who has fallen in love with you. Or there's a lot of romantic feelings between you and that person. You have music. This person definitely connects with you through music. This could be romantic music. This is how that person is truly feeling about you. Yeah, intuition. So they're definitely, you and that person are, um, it's like, the way this is coming off is that person can read your mind. You can read that person's mind and you're not even around that person. Hold on one second. Let me close this window. Yeah, so it's like they can read your mind. You can read that person's mind. You and this person could have this um, psychic connection. Yeah, and another person is hurt. It's like they're heartbroken. And then you have storm warning. This is somebody that could have tried. Um, this is someone who could have created a lot of drama for their self. Because if they were still like, if this is someone that was connected to this person and they were trying to prevent that person from coming towards you, um, not only did that person 
receive karma for what they were doing, but the person that they were trying to hold on to, they were receiving a lot of karma. As I say, a lot of unexpected things started happening. It was so they could release whoever this person is. This was definitely a toxic partner. They were in a toxic relationship with someone that was very codependent. They always had to fight that person. It was always some misunderstanding or something like that with this person. This is somebody that is hurt because they only created obstacles for their self. It's like they don't like change. They don't want something to change. They wanted to keep that person like bound to them. So it's like whoever the person is that you've ended something out with, um, you and this, this soulmate or your twin flame take it where it resonates could have dealt with the same type of um, people. Very toxic, very codependent. Always needing to have some type of control. Wanting you to feel powerless. You have new love. And then the truth, yeah, it's like they're hurt because that person have moved on. They've gained clarity about who they were attached to. They face something and they release that person. Now it's like they're manifesting new love. They're manifesting a new beginning for their self. You have home and then you have proposal. Yeah, so there's definitely a union that's getting ready to take place between you and this person. This is someone that is coming towards you um, with a love offer. And this, whoever this person is that was doing this, they could be someone that gets readings with intuition being here. They could be someone that reads tarot. And they're hurt because they kept getting readings. Um, and this is how they felt like they were going to create some type of obstacle to keep that person like bound to them. But whatever they were doing, it made that person see the truth. We have open to the universe. Yeah, somebody took the time to sit back and um, realize their worth and their own abilities. So if this is them using their intuition and um, the spiritual connection that they have with you, this is given, has given that person a lot of confidence. They're realizing their value and their true potential. It's like they're reclaiming their power. This person is accepting that person for who they are and they're loving their self more. This was a lesson that was needed to be learned. And now they're open to the universe. This is someone that is open to the um, divine light of the universe. It's like they're being guided while another person was trying to... Um, have power over their journey or power over their um, direction. And it's like they're in regret because the bond that you and that person have could have grew stronger. And now that this is why, yeah, you have break free. This is why this person is wanting to come towards you. It's like a magnetic pool. And you have break free. So yeah, somebody definitely broke free from um, whatever this devil energy was. And as I say, whoever the person is that you were attached to, that person was someone that was very low vibrational, very toxic, and you broke free from that person. And you just focused on new things, focused on different things, focused on positivity and change. 
You could have started doing a lot of research, using your intuition, realizing how intuitive you are. Yeah, and that person did the same. The person that wants to come toward you. Um, and it's like if you prayed for help, You allowed yourself to move out of the way and allow heaven to help you. Allow the universe to help you. You could have definitely prayed for that person if you knew this was someone that you have a spiritual connection with. You prayed for that person to um, go through some type of healing phase or an awakening and find out the truth. And you remain in this positive energy. Yeah, so it's like somebody have definitely broke free. As I say, you have um, ended something out. Whoever this person is that wants to collaborate with you, they've ended something out after finding out the truth. Two people are manifesting a new beginning. After breaking free from something that was very toxic. 